I'm very concerned, in fact, sometimes angry about what I see happening, you know, to young men and women who are arrested uh, uh, or in some cases maimed or killed, you know, by uh, men of the police force and, you know, in some cases uh, those who man tactical, uh, tactical units of the police force, such as SARS or, and the other uh, different tactical units that there are. It is, it, it is, it, it is uh, completely objectionable, it's unacceptable. You know, these are individuals who are meant to protect uh, Nigerians. You know, the arrest and the, it, 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 the arrest, uh, maiming, killing uh, of, of young people, of anyone at all, you know, by these same individuals is completely wrong. It is unlawful, it is illegal, and anybody, all of those who are involved in this ought to be investigated and prosecuted. Now, uh, I'm sure that today, this afternoon, I had a meeting uh, with the IG of police. We reviewed several of these issues. The president and I have had discussions on this. He's very, very concerned about it, wants to see himself, wants to see a reform of this process, and I'm sure that uh, you are probably aware that the police have issued a statement, the IG has issued a statement, looking at all these various issues. In particular, you know, warning against uh, the use of these tactical forces, such as SARS, for purposes of doing anything other than uh, uh, anti-robbery as it's supposed to be. I mean, for example, and I think in the statement it specifically said that you cannot have a situation where SARS say they're investigating cybercrime and arresting people, young men and women who are carrying laptops and carrying on their phones, you know. Cybercrime is an electronic uh, crime. There's no way that you can be, investigate that by seizing people's phones in a taxi or in their cars. So I think it's very obvious that uh, this is a major concern. A few bad eggs within the police force are causing a lot of these, uh, and because it's, of course it's all over the place in different states, there's a need, of course, to take serious action. I think that the IG statement today is a good first step. He has you know, clearly uh, said that um, you cannot even, yeah, you must be dressed properly. You must wear a police uniform. You can't say because you belong to a tactical uh, unit of the police, you can dress uh, in your casual clothing armed with a gun. Because people can't even tell the difference between uh, robbers and uh, police if you are not dressed in, poli in, in the proper uniform. So I think that clearly a reform is, uh, is, is in the offing and from the IG statement today I think uh, it's very clear that um, steps are being taken and that we must follow this through. So I, I would like to encourage uh, civil society activists, young men and women who bring this regularly by the way to their attention of government and the police. And I think that that activism is important because they've been able to bring a lot of these killings and uh, a lot of the illegal activities that you referred to to the attention of the police and to the attention of the government. And that's an important part of the process of reform. I think that we all have to work together to ensure that our police and law enforcement agents do what their duty is. Their duty is to protect us and protect our society, protect our livelihoods, our homes, etc. And by the way, many of them are doing an excellent job of that. But there are some of them who are engaged in these activities. But it's important for us all to see this as, a, as, as something we all have to work together to achieve on the part of individuals, on the part of young men and women, to bring, you know, uh, to bring to the attention of the police and to the attention of government where there have been violations and on the part of government and the police to ensure that every one of those allegations is properly investigated, those found responsible are prosecuted and it is publicized so that people know that prosecution has taken place, this is the consequence. I think that those are very important indeed but it's an evolving uh, process and you know, I'm very, very confident that we'll, we'll have a reformed police force and that that process has already begun. Thank you. Thank you.